Don't land on the runway. Oh, you could have landed on the field. Hello everyone, welcome back for the next video on the Foam Board 747, as now we're now going to call it though, the Foam Board 747 Shuttle Carrier. So last video, there was still a little work to do on the 747, we had some covering to do and a few modifications to make. Well we've completed those, and as you can see, we've now added some of the uh, accessories and have the shuttle mounted on top. Now, as you can see, there's two transmitters in front of us. That's because the shuttle is a glider that's built to detach. I'm hoping to be able to get this to launch off in mid-flight and glide down. Now, it's not going to have a great glide ratio, but the shuttle itself is actually not that heavy, so I'm hoping we can get eh, something that resembles a flight anyways out of it. So if we go up here... Now I don't have the shuttle locked, but as we can see, I designed it just because I wanted the access hatch to be the same size as the shuttle bay doors. And I've just got some simple serial lock locking me mechanisms in this. So if I lift this off here, as you can see, it just sits on there and it rests on top of the uh, barbecue skewer pegs. And then the servo arms just latch into those notches on the popsicle sticks uh, to keep it in place. Now as for the space shuttle, instead of doing elevons on the wings, I decided to split them up and have elevators and ailerons be separate, just because I haven't had the best of luck with elevons. I did add a rudder to this as well. The other thing I did is, as you can see, the cone here, I made it so it's actually removable. Because the plan is in the future I can build a cone on the back that'll have a motor mounted in it, and hopefully I can get sort of a powered flight off of this thing as we're flying. Now the shuttle bay is just hinged here, and as you can see, I've got some magnets on the back side there. So we just flip the one side up and the other side over, and you can kind of hear the clack of the magnets, which should keep this together. Now back to the 747. Now what I did is I finished the covering, so I added the, the fronts and backs to the wing joining section there. I coated the back of the tail here, and I added these ex extra accessories that the 747 shuttle carrier has um, just to help with vertical stability while the space shuttle is blocking the, a lot of wind from the main tail. The other thing I did is I put new thrust tubes on here to get to the right size thrust that should be needed, covered up the uh, wooden stabilizers here, which helped kind of rigid these up quite a bit. And the last thing I did is I had talked about the uh, battery compartment needing some airflow through it. So what I did for that is, for the landing gear here, I cut a hole in the front, and as you can see up there, cut a hole into the main tube of the fuselage. So if we open this up, we've got the center fuselage there, and what happens is then air can flow down that center tube of the fuselage, and out the back there of the tail. So hopefully get some good cooling in there so it won't be quite so hot after this next flight. So as you can see in here, we've got our mounting bracket, which is a 3D printed mounting bracket that's actually holding aluminum tubes embedded into the wings, holding this together. And then the wings are just held on by a screw in each, through each piece of aluminum tube here to keep it from flying out. I've got the four 4S 4000 batteries located up there. I can put four more on here. However, I had a incident with one of my other planes that uh, totaled one of the eight batteries I have, so I don't have enough to put eight in for this flight. So we'll just have to do a shorter flight with four. And then here we've got a uh, 2S LiPo battery, or sorry, 2S Life battery that's uh, powering the receiver and everything. There she is. It's going pretty good without much throttle.
dark. All right. Let's go. Oh, where's those map lights anyway? Yeah, no cool. Where's he? Yeah. Green design! Green design! Well, you can stand out there. <laughs> so you can see the runway anyway. Wherever he's standing, I'm standing. <laughs> You got video? I'm um, recording. Roger that. Yep. Got half, half flaps. Flying good? Yep. Hang on, let me get on. Yep. All right, when do you want to do this? I'm going to come by on a flyby on the front side and you can have it then. Okay. I'm, I'm full throttle though. This is a shit ton of drag. All right. Around. I'm going to go into a dive too, okay? Okay. All right, hang on. Stay right there. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one. Go. There we go. Is it working? Oh yeah. Okay. You're full elevator, so don't land on the runway. Oh, you could have landed on the field. I was trying. I should have used some rudder. It landed pretty good. I did stall it a little bit though. Oh, I saw that. I heard that actually. Not that bad. Nope. Like he said, he could use the part, so you'll take it. And we probably got enough battery for one more. Uh, It, it's the definitely the batteries are not where they should be. I'm not climbing as much as it did before, okay. and I'm having to pull. Right. Go ahead and get, line up for a landing. I'll line up. Yeah, you're good. Oh, we're we're plenty high. Ready? Right. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's beautiful work. Land it over here if you can. Or not. You can ask for much better than that. No. That was beautiful. Again. Better landing than I probably would have done. Awesome.